Hello and welcome to Sort of Sys classes. Uh, for the detailed study materials and online and live classes, you can online and live classes you can contact to this number or we, you can contact via email by www.sorofsirclasses.com now today in this video i am going to solve the paper of dsc economics for the year 2013 so the first question says that starting from a stationary point sonia ran 100 meters in 20 seconds assuming that her distance from starting point to the continuous and differentiable function if t she, uh, she would definitely have run at a speed of y meters per second at some point so she would have definitely have run at a speed of y meter per second at some point of time so y equals to what now sonia runs 100 meters in 20 second so in one second she would run 100 by 20 which is 5 meter per second now it should be something so at some point in time she would have definitely run at a speed of y meter per second so at some point in time so y equals to of what y equal to some should be 5 meter per second so none of the above is the answer the next question says the function defined as fx where x is something like this a function is this has critical points such that the points where the differentiation of function is equals to zero so which will be the correct option so how to solve this sum first fx equals to fx equals to x x minus 10 x minus 20 and x minus 30 so this is the question now for this question as we can see the roots of the functions are x equals to 0 10 20 and 30 so we essentially have to check at all these points how the value of the functions and the curvature of the function is changing now if i take the first differentiation then it will be something like this then just uv method apply the uv method then it will be easier for you then just you know uh, multiplying it and then seeing what is going on so now it will be something like this yeah and then finally it will be something like this so this is the differentiated function now after that we have to check the value at all these points so we have to check the value of this function at all these points so it will be uh, at 0 it will be minus 6000 at 10 it will be plus 6000 at 20 it will be minus 6000 again and at 30 it will be plus 6000 again so as we can see the function changes its curvature at all these points so it has negative value at 0 positive value at 0 so must have that the function crosses the uh, line at all these points so the function is actually changing its curvature so we have one intersecting point in this region intersecting point in this region similarly also true for this two and this two therefore the according to the intermediate value theorem if prime x equal to 0 which is actually essentially the point where the function has a critical value or the function changes its curvature and it happens in all these points so therefore the correct option is the it occurs in point at point 0 10 20 and 30 because these, these are the values where we are getting the roots of this function therefore the correct option is option number c My next question is the area of the region bounded by these two gra graph in the interval of this what will be the value so obviously this is the uh, equation of a curve 
so something like this and this is a linear equation so it is something like this so we have this two region and the region is between minus 1 to 3 so this is 0 and we have to calculate this region so this is the question now how to solve it again so basically we have two function one function is uh, fx equals to x square plus one and another is this which is x minus six so we have to just take an integration of this function over this region so this is x square plus one dx so we just have to calculate it for this part so essentially something like this so here we have x cubed by 3 calculating and then we have x 3 minus 1 so we have 27 by 3 minus of 1 third plus 3 minus 1 so after calculating this we get basically 40 by 3 now for the next we again have the same region x minus 6 so we have to again take the differentiation from 1 3 minus 1 3 x square by 2 3 minus 1 x 3 minus 1 9 by 2 half minus 3 minus 1 and therefore we have the answer of this question will be minus 20 so this is yeah this part will be minus 20 so essentially the area required is 40 by 3 plus 20 equals to because it is minus of minus 20 40 by 3 minus of minus 20 so we are getting this and this is 100 by 3 so this is the answer so the answer of the question is 100 by 3 now coming to the question of limit so first check at this point of 3 my denominator is not equal to 0 so this is a very simple sum so you just put the value of this over here the limiting value because this part is not 0 so we can easily put it so we have 9 15 1 third over here mm, 2 1 so it's something in minus of course it's uh, 11 yeah it's 17 9 so it's plus 8 sorry it's minus 8 minus 8 to the power one third so this is the answer which will be it's just a cube root so which is 2 so this is the correct answer i hope this answer helpful for your exam until next time thank you